Hello there. In this video, we'll discuss some intriguing leaks related to Cloud Retainer. So, please sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. It appears that we will indeed receive her in version 4.4. There were doubts about whether we would get her in this update or if a younger version of Madame Ping would be released alongside version 4.4. It's now essentially confirmed that Cloud Retainer will be featured in this update. According to the leaks, she'll be a 5-star off-field Nemo support healer who wields a catalyst as her main weapon. When she activates her elemental burst or Q, she will create a healing ring, similar to Kuki. This ring will provide healing to the active character while also dealing damage to any enemies that come into contact with it. It appears that this ring has a notably wider range compared to Kuki's, and since it can also inflict swirl damage, she will synergize well with various characters. Think of how the Dendro element greatly enhanced Kuki as a character. Cloud Retainer will achieve a similar effect, but for all elements, except Geo and Dendro. Xiao, Riathus Lee, and Hu Tao are about to become even stronger once she is released. One drawback of her elemental burst is that the healing it provides may not be as substantial as that of some other five-star characters, such as Chi-Chi or Kokomi. This might be due to the wide range of her healing ring and the nature of the Enemo element, which has certain limitations. However, I don't believe this is something we should be overly concerned about, as there's a high likelihood that Hoyo will make adjustments to these statistics during her beta testing phase. Another challenge with Cloud Retainer is her high energy recharge requirement. To use her burst consistently, we'll need to equip her with artifacts that have ER as the primary stat. Again, it's worth noting that these details are subject to change in the coming months. Currently, we have limited information regarding the duration of the Enemo Ring but we can estimate that it will last approximately 15 seconds. When it comes to her elemental skill, using her E-ability will allow her to fly similar to the Wanderer, making it particularly beneficial for overworld exploration. At present, we don't have information about whether her skill has any additional effects, but given that she wields a catalyst, it's likely that her skill will be a blend of Sucrose and the Wanderer. Since she needs particles to recharge her burst, I'm fairly certain her skill will involve some form of attack against enemies before enabling her to take flight. If her skill doesn't generate particles, she might be somewhat limited in a team without an additional Anemo character. Therefore, it's highly probable that her skill will generate at least some particles for her. Additionally, her signature weapon will offer a significant particle generation boost, which will greatly enhance the usefulness of her burst. Regarding her damage multiplication, it appears that her damage scales with the artifacts she equips. I'm not sure who'd want to use her as a main DPS. If you do decide to utilize her in that role, obtaining high-quality artifacts will be the primary means of increasing her damage output. We've also received some additional information regarding her talents. Notably, if her team's health fluctuates, she accumulates a certain number of stacks. When she attacks enemies, these stacks will be consumed to reduce the enemy's defense. Currently, we don't have specific details about how many stacks she can gather or precisely how this mechanism operates. It's possible that these stacks are activated when she uses her elemental skill, but only time will provide more clarity. In any case, this encompasses all the information that has been leaked so far. While no official confirmation has been made or any uncles has claimed this information to be 100% true, some credible leakers have supported these claims. However, since it's still relatively early for the 4.4 update, some of this information may be subject to change. Please approach this information with some skepticism. If you enjoy this type of content, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel for more exciting content like this in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back with more content very soon. See you later.